Over the course of this series, we have followed the journeys of numerous artists. Some have gone from student to practitioner to teacher. Some have gone from disliking an art form to becoming its biggest champion. But all journeys, as pleasant as they may be, must come to an end. Oh, yes. This is the final installment of the series. Now, don't cry, Shuna. I won't. Before we go, we've got two more journeys to take you through. The tabla player, who went from being a classically trained purist to someone who's known for combining different musical genres. And a watercolour artist who has made a name for himself capturing scenes of Singapore's past. One is a story of growth and change. And the other is about how development forced an artist to stand his ground. This is Young at Art. You know, Shuan, the thing about living in a city as fast-paced as Singapore is that the landscape is constantly changing. Buildings are here today, gone tomorrow. Yeah, I feel like Singapore has this love affair with all things new and shiny. Well, I guess the old has to make way for the new, right? You're not talking about me, are you? No. Why would I do that? Anyway, all this redevelopment and urbanization comes at a price to our history and heritage. Yes, and I think this next artist will agree with you. He's a watercolor artist who has made a name for himself painting scenes from Singapore's fleeting past. You know the late Della Butcher was an avid supporter of his. She founded the Della Butcher Gallery and she was a champion of Singapore art in the 80s and 90s. She was, and she said that his solo exhibitions have been distinguished by their moods of tranquility and philosophy. Now, in art critic speak, you know what that means? What? He was really good. <laughs> Seventy-three-year-old Pei Eng Seng has been an artist for the past 50 years. Growing up in a kampung, he used whatever tools he had at his disposal to express his creativity. His canvas was the ground, and his paintbrush a broken tree branch. Hello, Mr. Pei. Thank you so much for having us here today. It's so nice to meet you. Mr. Pei, you've led, uh, you've led a very interesting life. Uh, your, your painting started when? When you were really young, right? When you were six. Pei enrolled in the Nanyang Academy of Fine Arts in his 20s and took an array of odd jobs to put him through school. It was at school where Pei further developed his love for watercolor painting. Pei was so advanced and talented that he graduated from Nanyang Academy a year early and got a job as an illustrator at Longman Publishing. In 1983, Pei decided that he had had enough and quit his job as an illustrator to paint full time. Your painting took a really interesting twist. You were working, you quit your job, to continue your painting, what made you quit your job? Sutiao工作有几个原因，主要还是那个新加坡河要清掉，所以我一路来都在新加坡河那边画画。那么，呃，如果说再不画，再不画的话，那么就失去了这个机会。所以我就那个时候也犹豫了很久，因为面对着生
帮忙慢慢卖这些画，所以还可以生活。Choi Wing Young, the respected artist, critic, and curator, calls it a distinguishing visual breadth and depth. Yet others may put it more simply as a love for the old, rural, or quiet. Pei's most beloved watercolor paintings are of old Singapore, the Chinatown series, the Singapore River series, and Little India series. A lot of、uh, painters they paint from a photograph or from an impression that they have, but you paint on the spot. Why? Why do you decide to paint on the spot? 哎，画照片跟画在外面当场画有两个不同点。画照片你只能够跟着照片的呃限制，就是没有那个气氛，没有那个感觉。第二个原因，第二个原因就是呃，在外面画那些人的活动，那些人的那个生活方式，很多不同的那些啊。呃场景会给你不同的感觉，所以画出来的东西不一样。But as Singapore grew more developed, and more of its past started disappearing, so did the subjects that Pei loved to paint. So much of Singapore has become modern. It's become very hard. It's become, I don't know, in my mind, unpaintable. What What do you find in Singapore that you can still paint? Singapore. 越来越新，有时候很难找到你喜欢画的那些景物，不容易。不过现在已经比较少了，所以我通常就跑出去国外作画比较多。Over the course of his career, Pei has amassed a vast and impressive body of work, covering a diverse range of subjects and destinations. But his trademark style and sensibilities are evident throughout. You're 73 years old now, right? Yes. Okay.、Um, it's been a long artistic career for you. Do you ever get tired of doing what you're doing? 哎，这个越画越有劲，越画越有劲。当你进入这个画画的门槛以后，你会越画呢，你会感觉你越不够；越画呢，你会感觉越多东西你要去追求，就好像爬山一样，一山还有一山高。Watercolor painting is used in art therapy to help people with anxiety, depression, and other health conditions. Dr. Arnold Bresky, a leading authority on memory improvement, has created a program called the Brain Tune-Up. This program uses art therapy to help patients with Alzheimer's and dementia to improve their memories. Dr. Bresky claims that his program has seen a success rate of 70%. He believes that by drawing and painting, patients are connecting the right and left hemispheres of the brain and growing new brain cells, which leads to better memory. As you've gotten older, do you find that you're beginning to slow down? No, this kind of thinking is that if your body is healthy, I will paint more, 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 How has painting actually helped your body? Has it helped you stay young? Is it help? How does how does it help you? Ah, I think painting, for example, ah, your emotions are all focused on the painting, so some negative thoughts will be released. Only painting is with you, so this is, I think, for the body, is very beneficial for the body. Painting is very beneficial for the body. You know, Shuan, this is it. Yes, it is. Now don't cry, okay? I won't. Okay.
During the course of this series, we met so many interesting and inspirational people. And some of them decided to pursue their passions later on in life, like Grandma Rocker Mary Ho. There was the professional ballroom dancer Vincent Tu. And also Madam Ko, who only started learning ballet in her 60s. Then again, there were those who had spent their entire lives honing their craft. Like Malay dance choreographer Song Sayed. There was Chinese opera performer Madam Go Siu Gyo. And tabla extraordinaire Maniam, as well as the watercolour artist Pei Ing Sing. Now, no matter what, there was this one common thread that ran through, and that was their dedicated, single-minded determination to pursue the passion of the art they love so deeply. Okay, you know, FD, I really must admit, I'm getting a bit emotional just thinking about all these people that we've Please, met. Please, Joanne, do not cry. I said I won't. Joanne, I said don't cry. You yeah, cry now. <laughs> okay, FD, relax, relax. It's okay, it's okay. Breathe, breathe. Put yourself together. It's okay. It's all right. Okay. Okay, good. good. Well, thank you so much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed watching it as much as we've enjoyed making it. This has been Young at Art.